And as you can plainly see, the rain right now is very intense. It is a reminder that when it stays this intense for long periods of time, many parts of the city are vulnerable. This new analysis shows that not as much is being done to prevent that vulnerability as should be the case. None of us can forget Superstorm Sandy's damage, devastation, and 233 deaths. But this kind of destruction, or worse, can happen again, according to a new analysis, if more isn't done to prevent it. Let's watch your step. But Frank Morales is taking you into his basement to show what's flooded again since the superstorm 10 years ago. All of this up to the ceiling was underwater one year ago when remnants of Hurricane Ida struck. How concerned are you, though, that this could flood again? It can. There's nothing I can do about it. He's expressing his frustration about what the federal government's done to protect him, his neighbors, his community of Red Hook, Brooklyn, from storms and flooding since Sandy inundated the area. They tell you they're going to help us, help us, help us, but we get no help. His assessment is in line with this new report from New York City Comptroller Brad Lander. It shows that of the $15 billion the federal government provided the city to recover from Sandy and prevent damage from future sea rise and climate change disasters, only $11 billion has been spent. That's about 73 percent, and the percentage lowers even further when you factor in city funding that's not been used to protect our coastal community. We have to move faster on our resiliency projects. It's just easy to get complacent. If we are serious about that idea that Sandy was a wake-up call, um, uh, then we got to wake up. Everything you see in this Air 11 video of the south shore of Staten Island was underwater in Sandy's aftermath. Same for everything in this Air 11 view of Coney Island. That can be prevented, the Comptroller's report says, if projects to protect the 520 miles of city coastline are carried out as quickly and effectively as possible. We're not talking about getting them done in two or three years, but if we could get them done, you know, in five or seven years instead of 10 or 15 years, then we have an opportunity to save lives and, and billions of dollars. And speaking of billions, the Comptroller points out that New York suffered about $19 billion in damage from Sandy. But right now, real estate worth some quarter trillion dollars is vulnerable to another storm of that magnitude. He says it's all the more reason why these projects need to get underway and completed as soon as possible.